Hi, welcome back to my channel. So summer is in full swing. So today I'm going to show my Summer Trader Joe's haul. I'm going to show everything I picked up for the week. I have a few new items I am going to try, but there aren't a ton of new items. So this video isn't going to consist of just only new items. I am also going to show what I also picked up just for meals throughout the week and everything that I pick up during a weekly summer Trader Joe's shopping trip. I will list all prices of each item as I go through everything. I did, of course, get more snacks than a typical person maybe would because if it was new I grabbed it so that I could try it and share my thoughts with you but everything else is still pretty typical to what I typically buy now I do go grocery shopping with my husband but we separated his items since we usually pick our own items out and then we just cook for each other throughout the week before we jump into it if you can subscribe to my channel before you leave I'd greatly appreciate it so let's jump right in. So let's start with a food trend that has gone completely viral on TikTok. And if you haven't seen these TikToks that went viral, there's been a trend of, her name is Tiffany, and she eats cottage cheese with chicken sausage. Hers is chicken apple sausage, but she eats all sorts of different sausages and mustard. I tried it. I actually think it's really good. It's a really delicious high protein lunch. So I've been picking it up myself when I go grocery shopping because I usually struggle with cooking for lunch during the week when I work from home because I I don't want to cook anything that will make me really sleepy and so this meal is like whole foods it's high in protein it's filling but it's also delicious so I picked up the low-fat cottage cheese I picked up this kind because this is just the kind that I like it's the Trader Joe's kind and then this is my favorite sausage from Trader Joe's I've tried so many different ones that they have and they're all pretty good this is the unexpected cheddar chicken sausage it is minimally processed and very good so I just popped this in my air fryer 400 for five minutes and it is perfect along with that I did get hearts of palm that's also something that she does eat with cottage cheese and mustard and I do like it I think it tastes really good with cottage cheese and mustard so I got a couple more cans of this and I already have been buying hearts of palm I think it tastes really good if you like artichoke hearts I feel like they're in the same realm of artichoke hearts I feel like I can understand why some people don't like this but I do so definitely pick this up every time so here's a new item I am very excited to try this this is the snacky clusters they they are chocolate covered sea salt potato chips, corn chip dippers, and mini pretzel nuggets. So it looks like a very sweet and salty snack. So let's give these a try because usually I love the combination of sweet and salty. So they look like these like little nuggets. Here's what they look like in the bag. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. It's not super salty. I feel like the thing that's coming through the most are the corn chip dippers. It tastes like Fritos. And the milk chocolate is very sweet. And they're kind of melty because it's so hot today. So I might put these in the fridge. These are really interesting. I may repurchase these. Yeah, this is definitely a fun snack to try. I have chocolate all in my hands now. So I tried this a few videos back. I really like these. So I picked up another one. These are the Mi Krob Snackers, the Thai rice noodle snacks. Here's another item that I really liked when I tried it, so I picked up another one when I saw it again. These are the all butter shortbread sandwich cookies with a raspberry filling. If you like buttery shortbread, this is definitely for you. It is seriously so good. Here's a returning favorite that I actually, they might carry all year round, but I always pick it up during the summertime. And that is their cold pressed juice. And this is their watermelon juice. It is a little pricey for what it is, but it's just cold pressed, pure watermelon juice. And it is seriously so delicious. This little thing is $3, but cold pressed juice is expensive everywhere, but it's like the best watermelon juice you can taste. And it's so convenient. So I always pick up one or two of these during the summertime because this is such a fun treat. Here's another new item to try. These are the passion fruit round fruit snacks. So it comes in this like little packet. I thought this was kind of interesting because it's just like one giant packet of like a fruit snack. So I was curious about these for sure. Here's what they look like. They look like a dried fruit leather. Hmm. Yeah, very sweet, very sour, very chewy. These are interesting. They remind me of something from my childhood, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Probably something passion fruit flavored. This is something that I feel like is gonna come and go so quickly, and I wouldn't be surprised if they don't bring this back, but it was fun to try and fun for the summer. Okay, next up, this I'm very curious about. This is the organic very green soup. So I feel like this could be either be a huge hit or a major miss. It has spinach, kale, broccoli, coconut milk, and miso. So it depends on how flavored this is because I feel like this seems like a really healthy soup. So it might be a really good way to get your greens in. So let's go ahead and pop this in the microwave and give it a quick try. All right, so I just put a little bit in this bowl. If you can see it without me spilling it. 
and threw it in the microwave. It smells very strong of broccoli. It kind of reminds me of broccoli cheddar soup. And it looks like very liquid baby food. Hmm. I don't love this. It's not gross, but I feel like it needs more. It's like very liquidy. It has like a little bit of flavor. Like you can tell that it's the miso that's bringing in most of the flavor. I feel like it's missing something though. Yeah, I'll definitely eat this, but I'm not gonna repurchase this. I don't think this is going to stick around. I would consider this a miss. All right, next up, I always try to get at least two fruits from Trader Joe's per week. These strawberries were calling my name. These are two pounds of strawberries. I can smell them through the package. I feel like they're definitely in season. I am very excited. So we're definitely going to have some strawberries this week. And then I was also super excited to see these. These are donut nectarines. So growing up, I would always stay with my grandparents for a week during the summer, and we'd always go to the store and get donut peaches. So these are nectarines, so they're a little bit different, but every time I see these, I think of my grandparents and it's very nostalgic for me and these are very very delicious and fun to eat if you've never tried these because they're so they're so little this is what they look like they're like flattened peaches or, or nectarines these ones are nectarines and then you can just eat around the core so they're actually really easy to eat too so every year when they come back in season I always grab some because they're just so good next up to try I got the s'mores ice cream so I'm a big fan of s'mores flavored things and in a couple videos back I did try the their s'mores candy and as I kept eating them the more I liked those and I couldn't find them again I feel like they're already sold out for the season which is a bummer because I actually really like those candies but let's give this ice cream a try I'm sure if it's anything like those candies it will be a hit so this is graham cracker flavored ice cream with marshmallow and chocolatey swirls what it looks like I'm gonna try to get in there to kind of get the pieces oh yeah that is really good. Yeah, I love the graham cracker flavored ice cream. That's so good. And the chocolate chunks are perfect. And the marshmallow, I feel like the marshmallow is perfect too because the marshmallow is like the fluff marshmallow. It's not like just like pieces of the chewy marshmallow. This ice cream is definitely a hit. I might have to get one or two of these more before the season ends because I have a feeling it's going to be gone when the summer leaves. So Trader Joe's came out with a couple like Trader Joe's branded cocktails in a can. So I was very excited to try both of these. So the first one is Vodka Mule. So each can comes with two cocktails. So each package has four of these cans. And at first I was like, oh, this is like a little bit pricey, but each can is supposedly two cocktails. So that makes more sense. And this is Vodka, Ginger, and Lime. Let's give this one a try. And the packaging is so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's stronger than I expected. I can see how this is two cocktails in a can. It's definitely giving me Moscow Mule. Yeah, that is super good, especially in ice. Yeah, I feel like this, this is gonna be really good for the summertime. And I love the convenience of cocktails in a can. You don't have to mix anything, you just bring it. So this is really fun. Yeah, this is really cool that Trader Joe's has these now. Second one is Lime Margarita. This one is tequila and lime. So I am admittedly not the biggest tequila fan. So let's see if this tastes really strongly of tequila, which if it does, I mean, it's a margarita, so that's fine. Let's give this a try. And also, each of these are 10% alcohol, which is pretty high, actually, considering a beer is like five to seven. Oh, I would actually really like that. Like, you can taste the tequila, but only a little bit. It's not too strong at all, and the lime flavor is really nice. Yeah, I would definitely say these cocktails are a hit. I like really love their branding. The colors are so beautiful. Yeah, so those are definitely fun for the summer. So I'm gonna quickly go through some ingredients that I picked up for a couple dinners I'm making this week. Some are just ingredients and some I actually have a plan for. So I'm going to make a red lentil stew because I have red lentils and I'm trying to use up ingredients that I already have in my pantry. So for that stew, I have the red lentils. So I got two cans of coconut milk. I got this Thai style red curry sauce. So the recipe that I'm following it called for red curry paste, but I didn't want to get red curry paste because I've made this recipe before and I didn't want to buy a whole thing of paste just for like two tablespoons worth of it. So I'm going to get this simmer sauce and just use this. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I really like these simmer sauces from Trader Joe's. They're definitely more diluted than like a paste would be, but the flavor is really nice. I got one giant sweet onion. I got two cans of tomato paste. I only need one of them for this recipe. So I figured just one would be nice to have on hand because it's like a pantry staple. And then the last thing for that stew is four sweet potatoes. 
And then just for ingredients throughout the week for other just dinners and random things that I'm planning to make, I got these little teeny tiny avocados. I love these from Trader Joe's because they're so cute and so small. And if I'm lucky, they won't all go ripe at the exact same time. So I can eat them throughout the week. Sometimes though, sometimes it's like this exact moment where they all go ripe right at this exact time and I'm not ready to eat all six of them. I hate it when that happens, but most of the times I can kind of monitor them and they get ripe at different times and so I can kind of weigh them out. Um, I like mixing these with tuna and make a little tuna salad so that's what I'm planning to do for some lunches and dinners. I already have everything else I need for that. I also got these organic growers mixed cherry tomatoes. These tomatoes I don't actually have a plan for. I might just eat them as is. They looked so good and I love cherry tomatoes. I'm actually growing some in my garden but they haven't grown yet so hopefully they will look like this because these looked so appetizing. I'm like I could just eat these right from the package. They look beautiful. So I'm excited to find a way to eat these. Maybe I'll make spaghetti or something. And last but not least, I got four ears of corn. I love corn. So I always pick up corn when it's in season because it's just so sweet and delicious and really inexpensive. All right, so I just have a handful of items to try and then I did get a new treat for Gary. So stay tuned for that. Next up, I did pick up the dark chocolate pineapple sticks. I love these things. I tried their orange ones before and I think I might have tried. I know they have watermelon, but I can't remember if I've tried them before. I feel like I have, but it's been a while. So I was excited that they made them in pineapple. So let's give this a try. They're like these little jelly sticks. Yeah, these are really good. The pineapple flavor is really nice. Yeah, this one's a hit. Recommend giving this a try. Next up, this is returning, but I don't believe I've tried this before. I'm a huge potato chip fan, so I'm excited for this. These are the Carolina Gold barbecue flavored potato chips. I don't know if I've ever met a potato chip that I didn't like, but you know, some are better than others. They look like ruffles. Mm. These are super good. Definitely recommend giving these a try. They kind of taste a little mustardy, like a little tangy. I like it. It's definitely a really good flavor. Next up, I have these little mini cheeseburgers. Three cheeseburgers. So I'm excited to try these because this is like a nice little convenience food. I heard mixed reviews about these. So let's give them a try. They come like this. They come in like three little cheeseburgers. And I thought this was like really interesting. And I love trying new, weird, interesting things that Trader Joe's has. And they're in the freezer section. So this is what the packaging looks like. They're all just like stuck together. I've seen a couple people talk about these and they did say that when they followed the instructions for the oven that the bun burned. So I think I'm gonna just pop one in the microwave. Yeah, damp paper towel, 50 seconds for, for one burger. So let's pop this in the microwave and give it a try. All right, here it is. I could see it steaming. Okay, definitely heat it all the way through. It's a little hot. I might actually give it a moment. Okay, so I think it's cooled down enough for me to give it a try. It smells really good. It smells like a standard cheeseburger. Hmm, I like the bun. The bun is sweet. I feel like the burger tastes what I expected it to taste like as a frozen burger and this cheeseburger. Overall, this is pretty good though. I also like the sauce on there. I think the sauce adds like a really nice flavor. Overall, I am impressed. I would definitely say for cheeseburgers that are already made in the freezer aisle, these are really good and they're cute. They're so little. I'll just say don't compare it to like any other kind of cheeseburger, basically. The so perfect time to try. This is the Guava Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream because I just washed my hands. One of the workers there did say this smells very good, so I'm very excited for this. It's a pretty big tube for a hand cream. I feel like they didn't necessarily have to make it quite this big. Oh, this smells really good. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. It's definitely really rich super moisturizing. And this packaging is just so nice. I feel like this would be a really nice gift. Like look how nice that looks. Yeah, I really like that. I feel like some hand creams have like that artificial smell to it and this one does not. I feel like it's both fruity and a little floral too. All right, so last but certainly not least, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my puppy and we're going to try this new treat that they have for dogs. These are the Crab Paws Soft Baked Crab Flavored Dog Treats. Let's give them a try. Now, I don't know if Gary has ever met a treat he doesn't like, but we will still see if they are Gary approved. So let me go grab him. Before I do, thank you so much for watching this Trader Joe's haul. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if there are any new items that I might have missed that you'd like me to try. I appreciate you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I woke him up from his nap. Yeah, you were a little sleepy.
<laughs> so here's what the treats look like. They're soft, so you can break them up into smaller pieces if you want. And they definitely smell like dog treats. They smell kind of fishy. Okay, sit. Yes, back up. Good job. Can you balance? Balance. Okay, okay. Oh, nice try, bud. <laughs> Good try. Do you like it? Oh, big stretch. Do you wanna try one more time? Yeah, okay, okay, sit. Yes, back up. Good boy. Yes, good job, buddy. Good job. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.